Sarah, are you familiar with the poem, The Age of Anxiety? You're asking an English major <laughs> if she's familiar with the poem. Yes, W.H. Auden. Okay, I could have guessed that. Do you know mm -hmm. when it was written? Can you guess? Yeah, 1948 is when it came out. Oh, big, epic okay. Poem. So you, I, well, you're, there's your English major at work right there. Yes, yes. And <laughs> W.H. Auden. Auden is how you pronounce his name, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, wow, impressive. You weren't oh, acting nearly impressed enough. <laughs> wow, impressive. <laughs> wow, impressive. Well, so, wow, impressive. so are you familiar with this poem yourself? No, like you know no, what it's about? No, not at all. Is this not important? No, it's not really important for today. Oh my gosh, just like strike me through the heart. I mean, an English major is going to be like, this is important to bring up for an English major. Why did you bring it up? Just because of the title and the date. I mean, it seems like it could have been written yesterday. Yeah, so, so that's it? Like, you're not going to say anything else about well, this poem? Well, if it was written today, it would be called The Age of High Anxiety. Yeah, yeah. But that's, all, that's the only reason I brought it up. <laughs> yeah. But it's really important to at least kind of know what it's about. Mm, says the English major. Says the English major. Okay, okay so, so you... what's it about? as it's described elsewhere. It's about human isolation. Mm, mm -hmm. It's about a condition magnified by the lack of tradition, mm. the loss of mm -hmm. religious beliefs in the modern age. Are mm. you even really listening? <laughs> the I'm just setting, doing my man reply. You're, okay. Mm -hmm. Am I English major splaining? <laughs> <laughs> the setting is a nighttime bar okay. in New York City. It's starting to sound better. Four strangers, three men mm. and one woman. Okay. They meet and they talk and they drink. Yeah. And the party ends at the woman's apartment where okay. the two of the men leave and the third disappoints her by passing out drunk. And that's the end of the poem. That sounds heavy and depressing. It is so depressing. I don't think it's... I need to read it. Yeah. Oh. oh! It makes me anxious just thinking about it. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Did you know that Leonard Bernstein wrote a symphony based on the poem? Did I know? What, remind me why you brought yeah, like, this poem Yeah, just because of the title. and the, I mean, it could have been written yesterday, and, mm -hmm. but it would have been called The Age of High Anxiety, yeah, not just yeah. The Age of Anxiety. Okay, I'm following you now. I see where you're going. So things are crazy today, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's not 1948, but we have our own issues. Mm -hmm. Foreign terrorism. Yeah. We just celebrated or remember the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Yeah. yeah. There's domestic terrorism as well. We have collapsing infrastructure, buildings, kind of. Like down in Florida, where my parents live, made me a little anxious. Yeah. Insurrections, political polarization, loss of values that you hold. Yeah, climate change. Economic insecurity, inflation, job loss. We could talk about the trillions of dollars in our deficit. School shootings, racist killings. And a global pandemic politics, fake news, the ever-increasing pace of change, lots of traditions that are getting lost right now. Yeah, these are all things that make us anxious, make us afraid right now. Um, and of course right now when something bad happens, like people have their cell phones and they've got their notifications set to, for breaking news. I just got a new cell phone, you know, a couple I, I months ago. I am very aware of the new and cell phone. I turn all those notifications off because they make me anxious. Yes. Yeah. So what makes you anxious? Uh, well, I, I tend to be an anxious person by temperament mm -hmm. and a little bit by upbringing. We t the, tend to over catastrophize. Um, I won't name names in my family, but we all do this. Um, but a lot of this was amplified when I was diagnosed with cancer mm. in 2018. Yeah. Um, that was a and, tough year it was a really tough year and it didn't really um the anxiety didn't rise right away but definitely within about six months after finishing treatment i was realizing i wasn't able to calm myself down when there was like an alarm in my body like mm -hmm. something's not right mm -hmm. it's hard to over catastrophize when like the worst thing you could imagine has already happened to yeah. you yeah 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 how about you that year made me really anxious too <laughs> like, yes very anxious yeah um, yeah. On a on a more lighthearted note, I for a while had this like recurring nightmare where I would be getting like showing up at church and five minutes before somebody was supposed to stand up and speak, I realized it was me and I hadn't <laughs> prepared. 
Yeah, so there are all these everyday anxieties from our jobs and stuff that like bleed into. Yeah. I haven't had that nightmare in a while. I think it's because we're pre recording the messages. Oh, how oh, lovely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. So I'm sure we're not alone. Uh, maybe this will be a good point in our message so far to have people just, just talk about what makes them anxious. Yeah. So let's talk about what makes you anxious and what makes you highly anxious.